we have coming up next more Henry Matisse, very different uh, materials here. Yes, still in the still doing our, still doing fauvism because uh, well it's Matisse and that's all he's pretty much it. Uh, this is actually a, this is a portrait of his daughter, mm. uh, which was, was very was rather favored format for him. He loved he loved to paint her, and. I, this is, and now we're actually getting into what people really typically think of as Matisse. Mm -hmm. You look at the pinks, you look at the greens, uh, the whites. I mean, these are all they're these natural, unnatural colors in many ways. Um, and you know, and you, you almost see that in the, the faded cat sort of. You wouldn't even notice it actually to start sure. with. Right. Um, but this, and it's really interesting about actually about just about her in general. She was a real tough cookie of a, of a woman. She was actually captured by the Nazis during World War II, wow. and escaped Ravensbrück um, concentration camp if I remember properly. Wow. Um, she was, and then took over her father's estate after that. And you know, he she was always kind of the the hard to his soft. Um, and he was not the, you know, he was <laughs> not necessarily the easiest man. He was once asked to name the best young painter in France, and he simply said, moi. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, you know, the, the apple didn't fall so far from the tree. And right. Perhaps no surprise that he loved to paint his lineage here. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, yeah, and that figure of the cat also is always interesting because, you know, the, the cat is often, um, often, often used sort of as a uh, symbol of infidelity. Mm -hmm. So I imagine it's a bit of a joke that he would he would play he would place it with his daughter sure. who yeah. uh, and a uh, and a black cat at that and a black cat yeah and a black and a black cat at that but yeah it's a, I mean it's a really wonderful image and um, uh, you know you just you're not going to find very often things that have these sort of, you know, these sort of colors that are going to be affordable quite frankly uh, you sure. don't you know you don't get colors like this it, with, usually without without buying a painting. Right. And when you're talking about Henri Matisse, you're talking about paintings that are going to the hundreds of thousand of dollars up into the millions. And, you know, you can find them, you know, at the big auction houses in New York and London, but you're not going to have that many opportunities to pick up something like this. Certainly not for $999 no, right it, here, available for you. No, it's a great, great, great opportunity to own, you know, a true master. Yes.